How would you like to be judge of your own document contract postal vessel court venues using correct sentence structure communication part say syntax grammar? Well, what you see on the board here, I'm going to use as an example to help give you the tools to do what I just said. Be a judge of your own documents. A judge holds jurisdiction. You would be the authority of your documents because you are the author. Authorization, look at that word. The word author is in there. In order to have authorization, you would necessarily be the author unless someone else gives you authorization and you consent to that. Because all contract is by consent. If there's no consent, there's no contract. It's that simple. So I'm going to show you the correct way to syntax versus the incorrect way to syntax on the spot. Now, some people will tell you, they'll look at something like this and they'll say, okay, we'll go in here and we'll do this. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. You can see the beautiful syntax key over there will give you all the clues you need for the number of values I'm posting up here. So what they'll do is they'll go in and they'll put ones above the thes and also above the ly's. That is completely and 100% incorrect mechanics. Why are they incorrect, Jason? Well, the is on my list of adverbs that so-and-so gave me. Okay, who's the authority of that list? Did you write that list? No, somebody else did. What if they, <laughs> what if their knowledge is shit? Let's just put it that way. What if their knowledge is butt kiss? What if it doesn't mean anything? What if they don't have closure on their list? Do you just assume that they have closure on the list? Because I'm going to give you closure right now as to why you would not do this. It's part of rule one rule equal judge mechanics. And it's very, very simple. As the late Colin David Eiferwin Colin Miller used to say ad nauseum, the first rule of judge mechanics is to establish knowledge. What is your knowledge? You have to look at the whole thing to get the knowledge. You can't just say, okay, well, does an adverb, does an adverb, and this lovely is, a, is an adverb because of the particle of negation ly. No, you can't do that. You have to get the story of what's going on around it. You can't put somebody on the witness stand and automatically say, well, they're lying. No, you have to certify their knowledge with other witnesses. Get the whole story. Otherwise, you're just making a snap judgment, and that's a violation of rule one, rule equal. So what we would do is to certify and credential each word as to whether they're tangible contract or non-tangible contract. And if you look over on that syntax key, tangible contract words in the fiction babble, which this is, would either be verbs, adjectives, or pronouns, three, twos, or fours. Non-tangible contract words would either be adverbs, verbs, or pronouns, one, twos, or fours. Or to put it another way, tangible contract words would never be adverbs, and non-tangible contract words would never be adjectives. So when you're armed with that knowledge, you can start working backwards because working backwards when you're syntaxing, at least for beginners, is the most efficient and effective and accurate way to syntax. And I'll show you why. So trash. Trash is tangible contract. How do I know that? I can certify that by looking it up in an etymology dictionary and go to the earliest nativity uh, root meanings of that word. And if that earliest nativity root meaning, which is usually either Old English uh, Sanskrit, or Proto-Indo-European, it's tangible contract. I have a tangible contract with what trash is. And you would do that with every word. So we have tangible contract. Fiction is tangible contract. Again, look it up. Lovely. Okay, so the word love is definitely tangible contract. You and I can certify what love is. We have love for our families, so on and so forth. For our countries, maybe. Yes, we know that love is tangible contract. Even though you can't hold it in your hand, you certainly know what it is. But we have a particle of negation right here. L-Y. I've done a whole ass video on that. 
You can look that up on my channel. I think I just released it this year, maybe late last year. LY is a poison suffix that poisons the tangible contractness of a word. It literally kills the word. So lovely is non-tangible contract. Now that we've hit a non-tangible contract word, we can put our syntax values in. Trash is a pronoun. Fiction is an adjective. And lovely is an adverb. One, three, four. Now we've hit that adverb. Remember, what happens when you hit an adverb? You can pretty much erase that and start over from here. Start fresh. Is the tangible contract or non-tangible contract? The is definitely non-tangible contract. Look it up. You will see that they will try to give closure to the in the etymology dictionary by using other non-tangible contract words such as this or that. That's definitely a red flag. That is non-tangible contract. It is preceded by syntaxing. That's definitely tangible contract. We know what that is, even though it does have a particle of negation in it. So we have non-tangible and tangible. So non-tangible contract words, as I said at the beginning, are either going to be adverbs, verbs, or pronouns. In this case, it is a pronoun. And we know the old rule, nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or an adverb. And we follow that uh, mechanic right here. So we have three, four, of is non-tangible contract. Again, look it up. Same thing goes for does, goes for of. And then we have mechanics, which is tangible contract. That's going to be a pronoun. Nothing can follow a pronoun except for yada, yada, yada. Correct is tangible contract. That's an adjective. A is non-tangible contract. That's an adverb. So we have another one, three, four. And it's preceded by the. Now, you remember at the beginning when I went through and put ones above the the? You see that this is not correct. This the is not an adverb. It's a pronoun. This the is a verb. And this is an adverb. We have two non-tangible contract. Actually, we have three non-tangible contract words in a row. So that's a one, two, one, three. So you see the syntax patterns here. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two. Those are the syntax patterns. Look up the five syntax patterns on my channel. Uh, it'll give you closure to that. I've done multiple videos on it. Now let's check out the uh, particles of negation real quick, just for a bonus knowledge. A vowel by itself or in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word is no contract. So we have those particles of negation there. ING is a particle of negation because it is a modifier. Look it up. And of course the LY. There's your quick syntax lesson. Part of how to become a judge of your own document contract postal vessel court venues. You would use this when commandeering a fictitious conveyance of grammar, giving closure to it, creating your own correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, document, contract, postal vessel court venue, and sending it back to stop bureaucratic trespass, i.e. being a judge of your own document. And this is part of it. So I hope this helps you. Hope you had fun. And I'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, Contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again. And I'll see you in the next one.